keep it going. Welcome your next comic to get tonight. Give it up for Christine Ellison. So hi, everyone. I get that I kind of look like your stereotypical PTA soccer mom, which is actually kind of really ironic because I hate kids. No, you don't get it. Like, I fucking hate kids. I have some, but I fucking hate them. It's not that I'm a, I'm just not a maternalistic person. I'm not a monster. You know, I'm not like the witch in Hansel and Gretel. I'm not gonna capture them, cage them, feed them, and eat them. I'm probably gonna eat the cookies because I hate kids. So I didn't do parenthood well. And I didn't do marriage well either. I've been looking for my ex-husband's killer for 10 years, but none of my friends will do it for me. I'm also old enough now to realize there's no such thing as a fucking Prince Charming. There are, however, seven hardworking dwarves. And I think it's off to work they should go. So I grew up with five brothers. And you know what sucks about being the only girl growing up with five brothers? You learn things about men you shouldn't know. For instance, size matters. Penis envy, it's a real thing. You do not have to be in a relationship to get smacked around. You're constantly surrounded by dicks. And you're not allowed to blow any of them. Want some more difference between men and women? Just think of the word facial. My mother had some really weird names for things growing up. Like boobs were mentanas. Vagina was a Zuli box. <laughs> and menstrual pads, manhole covers. <laughs> Women complain about being used for sex by men all the time. Honestly, I'd much rather be used by a man for sex than target practice. <laughs> yeah, good marriage. <laughs> um, I really think that men were put on earth to kind of mess with women. And there's a study that proves this. They did a study on male mice that live with female mice. And apparently they stay fertile much longer than the men, males that are separated from the female mice. So what does this mean? If you're gonna live with them, you might as well fuck with them. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you're eating a vegetable, do they appreciate it? <laughs> Three phases I hate to hear during sex is, come on, Chris, let's do anal. Oh. Oops, the condom broke. <laughs> Can I see your driver's license and registration now, ma'am? <laughs> oh. There are some women who absolutely hate porn. Personally, I don't mind it. I'm kind of glad it gives men another outlet for their sexual energy. And honestly, it's kind of nice to have a man want to hang out with me after he's gotten his rocks off. <laughs> the other day, I'm walking down the street and I see this Asian woman about to parallel park a car. <laughs> and I stopped. I went, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> to my surprise, she pulled up, she whipped it in, she parked it perfectly. And I wanted to go, good job, good job. But I couldn't. I'm gonna look racist. <laughs> Which really wasn't fair, because I probably would have complimented any woman on that parking job. <laughs> I don't, you know, here's another, I'm not a sentimental person. I don't get sentimental people. There are some people who like hang on to things that make absolutely no sense to me. So I've told my friends, <clears throat> You want to give me something sentimental? Hire me a male prostitute. That way, each month when I have an outbreak, I'll have something to get sentimental about. <laughs> I'm a woman who likes to go and eat lots of pasta, obviously. 
But when I eat pasta, I kind of have an issue. It gets all over me, so I like to take my gloves off. I spend a lot of money on my clothes. Problem is, nobody at Spaghetti Factory appreciates this. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Give it up for Christine Allison.